even though we're only one month into the year and sure there's already been a bunch of bands calling it quits and more people getting canceled you know the usual modern metal scene stuff uh there's a handful of bands that have been absolutely killing it and already starting to kind of change the whole direction of modern metal and where it's going i actually mentioned a good chunk of them in my metal 2023 predictions video however there's one band i didn't mention and did not expect to have as insane of an impact as they do which is Sleep Token. And another thing, did you know that 55% of you aren't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, come hang out, we do fun things here. Now, when I think of Sleep Token, you know, I think of them as that fun, soulful, sensual band that has fun breakdowns here and there and heavy riffs and great atmosphere that does well in the modern metal scene, but nothing too crazy. However, if you go to their Spotify currently and see their monthly listeners, you will see this number that says 1.8 million monthly listeners. What? Now, I'm not saying a band's Spotify monthly listeners is the end-all be-all of how good a band is or how well they're doing necessarily. You know, there's there's touring, there's merch sales, there's community, there's how good you're doing on social media, etc. But that monthly listener number is very important for a lot of people, and especially in the music industry, because it gives a sense of, well, what kind of opportunities is this band going to get? What opportunities should we offer them that make sense for their quote-unquote size? Now, having a number this big is absolutely wild, considering that they were you know, maybe at 250,000, 300,000 uh, at the end of last year. So what actually happened here? Because there is endless amounts of band members and managers that would basically die to get a number like that for their band, especially only having a few albums out. Now, a lot of people don't realize that Sleep Token has actually been around for a bit. They've been around since 2016. Uh, they released a song back then, Thread the Needle, I think it's called, which you go and listen to it and it's it's sleep token, you know, it's soulful, vibey singing and atmosphere mixed in with chunky lower tune guitar, mashuga e breakdowns here and there, and just a, a good, fun, seductive vibe. Until a few years later, they finally released The Offering, which was, I think, their breakout single that got them a bit more known actually in the metal scene itself, but also which was the lead up to the album, Sundowning in 2019. Generally softer stuff than most metalheads, I think, would be expected to listen to, but you didn't have to be a metalhead to really listen to Sleep Token, which was great as well. Now, moving forward into 2020, and this is where you can actually see things on song stats, which is what I'm using here for this data, you start to see their monthly listeners. And again, going into 2020, you're like, oh, okay, 150,000 monthly, that's nothing too crazy. You know, you get to 2021 when they start to roll out the next album. And from their releasing singles until they actually release the entire album in September, which you see, again, 350,000 monthly doing pretty well for themselves. Now, when we go over here at the end of 2022 into 2023, you might notice this special line, which looks like um, the meme, the stonks meme, you know, but IRL. So how is this even possible? This is a level of growth that is it's game stonk meme worthy here they're at 300,000 monthly listeners january 7th which you know a few days before they just released chokehold and the day after the summoning which i don't think anyone expected them to release two singles day after day week after they released uh, granite and the aqua song whatever it's called again four singles within nine days pretty pretty wild however the summoning which was the second release of those four um, started to take off a little bit. If you see right here on their Spotify, it has double the streams of Chokehold. Chokehold came before it. And almost four times the other two singles. It, it almost has more streams than Alkaline, which was their lead single from the previous album cycle. Now, what is it about the summoning that is doing so well, right? Like, it's first of all, the heaviest song Sleep Token, I think, has ever made. It, it starts with just a pure chunky riff, as well as going into these open verses with Groove, Vessel's voice, this huge chorus, going back into those chunkier riffs, and then breakdowns, and then harder breakdowns with double kick, low tune guitars. However, at the end of this song, there's a little bit of a two minute break, that then goes into what I can only describe as a sexual, seductive, funky fiesta. And, of course, reactions were picking up on it. A lot of people were watching that to help it push. And that then bleeds into TikTok. As you can kind of see here, the total video is kind of chilling. You know, here's the release of the summoning. And then, boom, boom, 
boom, it's looking like a step ladder. And these videos are also getting good views, good likes. People are enjoying it, resharing it, duetting it. You know, it's part of the culture at that sense now, as well as being spread on other social media. But look, you have four singles come out without music videos. You have reactors get on it. You have TikTok get involved in it. But is that still enough of an explanation of how this went from 300,000 monthly to 1.8 million literally within a month? And during this, you know, they're touring, doing well. They're playing good size shows, you know, and I'm sure selling a lot of merch. And yes, they're all masked up and, you know, even on stage going crazy and the kind of hump in the air and really getting into it. Um, and there's that mysteriousness about, you know, who are they? But during this, this band is also starting to get talked about a lot more. And if you know anything about the metal scene, it's that once a band starts to get bigger and starts to somewhat leave the the the, the metal nest and starts to get out of that little underground numbers area and starts to really get a lot higher, is when you start to get a lot of people turning on the band and saying, oh, are they industry plants? Why is everyone talking about this song? It wasn't really that okay, even though I just posted that it's the best song of the year, question mark. The same thing, you know, happening with Lorna Shore, like, oh, Will's too good at vocals. I guess he's overrated now. I don't like Lorna Shore. Or with Spirit Box as well, starting to get a bit bigger, and then people are just like, oh, I'm not a big fan of Spirit Box anymore, you know? And funny enough, all of these bands mentioning getting big with their heavier songs. Sleep Token, The Summoning, heaviest song. Lorna Shore, I mean, it's heavy. Spirit Box with Holy Roller. And because so many people are talking about it, and there's so many people hate talking about it at this point, it also just starts to accelerate everything. And also the metal scene apparently just being real down bad. Um, because, you know, we get in sexy time with the summoning. You don't really have to do a re lot of research to figure that out. You can just go on TikTok, and I'm pretty sure as long as you've listened to a Sleep Token song, you will get some sort of thirst trap. Now, to play a little devil's advocate, you know, can there be a bit of juicing in terms of numbers, right? Can, can maybe label or management be just, you know, doing some shady deals and pushing Spotify super hard to push this stuff and put it on all their playlists? I don't think so. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Some bands it does happen with. I don't think it's happening with Sleep Token. And even though these numbers are absolutely wild, and I haven't seen something like this before, maybe even just in a really long time, I think the answer to the truth about Sleep Token and how they're getting these numbers is perhaps more simple than most people think. Sleep Token is just f***ing good.